Hey, hi, welcome. So friend, in this video, we are going to do operation on a stage file. So in previous video, we have learned about what is a stage file operation or activity and what kind of operation they, they allow us to perform in a stage file. So they are the list of operation. We, we have to work on that. So first in this video, we will learn about the read entire file operation. So we will see what is read entire operation and how we can use. So let's begin with the Oracle integration. So I have already created one integration that integration is going to get data from FTP server and then we have to read that file whatever data file we receive from server we have to read in Oracle integration so that we can perform operation on that particular data file. So suppose here we have SFTP server in that SFTP server I have already placed one CSV file and I have to download this CSV file in Oracle integration and then we have to read the data of that file. So here if you will see I have created the file and that file contain that kind of data. So let's begin with the integration. So here you can see I have created the integration and already I have added the node I have added the, the endpoint related to the FTP adapter so that we can get the file from server. So this endpoint will help us to get the file from FTP server. I have created separate video where I have I have uh, like explained all these things related to the file server activity from where how we can get the SFTP file in Oracle integration and all. So if you want to learn re related to FTP server you can go and watch that video. So in this video here in this endpoint we have downloaded the file from this SFTP server this access underscore invoice underscore 001.csv file downloaded over here. So response of this endpoint we have the file reference and all. So now we have to read that file. So for reading the file we need to add the, the stage file operation. So here you can see right now our file is available over SFTP server. For getting file from SFTP server into OIC we required FTP adapter. So we added FTP connection here. FTP connection will help us to get file from SFTP server or FTP server. Now we have to perform operation on that file. We have to read the file. We have to uh, like do various operations. Then we require a stage activity. So here we have a stage file. We will add a stage file over here. So once you will add the stage file activity, it will ask you to provide the action name or we can say endpoint name. So here we are going to read the file. So I will provide the read stage. So remember this stage is the activity name or action name and this is the operation we are going to perform. So this is the naming convention we need to follow we as a developer so that whenever anyone or we or any other, other developer will work on this integration they will directly know that okay this activity is going to do the operation as a read. So now go next here we need to select the operation. So here you can see in choose a stage file operation we have various operations. So now in this time we have to read the file right whatever file we downloaded from the SFTP server we need to read the content of that file that's why we have read entire file and another operation we have read file in segment in previous next video I will explain you about the read file in segment. So uh, we, whenever we want to read the bulk uh, like we read the larger file we require to use read file in segment so right now we will select read file entire file. So uh, once of selecting the operation we have two options to configure the file reference yes or no if you will select configure file reference no it means you need to provide the file name and the file directory where you have downloaded you know oracle integration and if you will provide yes it means that you need to only provide the file reference so both way you can read the file so let's let me first provide the file name. So here specify the file name. So I know the file name of this one. This is the file name. So here I will provide the file name. Done. And this is the specify file directory. So here while downloading the file from SFTP server with the help of FTP adapter, I provided the directory that is stem. So I will use the same temp directory even if you don't want to pass this one you can get the directory from here only download file adapter here if you will see in the response ICS directory and here you can see ICS file and this one properties and here this is the directory you can map this one but I will skip this one I will provide directly hard coded directory so just and so save and expression so here we provided the file name what kind of file name we want to read and what is where is the directory available of the file this is a temp right so now why we if i have mentioned this temp as i will show you 
so now here while reading the file we can use remove trailer so remove trailer what it will do it will remove the first line first line and all you can see the none it means that it will not remove any lines and here you can see it will remove the last line and it will remove the if you will select last and row it will remove the last three lines so suppose mm -hmm. this is our data file and if we provide a two here it will remove the first two line last two lines so i don't want to do anything here just now and here we can also use a decrypt so that if our file is in encrypted format we can decrypt the while reading also in next we need to provide the structure of the file so as mentioned in the ppt i already explained this the the stage file operation doesn't support opaque schema so you need to provide the file structure here only so here as i know that our file structure and in csv so i will select here csv and now next here you have to provide the file structure so as i have already sample file this year, so i will use the same so here just yes, choose and i will upload the file here only. so sorry so this is our file open so here you can see in that file how many rows are there it's already visible here you can see this is the data file i show you invoice id invoice number and invoice page something column here all these things right so here we need to provide the record name and the record set name it's mandatory so let's provide them record name rc and the record set name rs okay so records r r r s just you can provide any name here okay now here as you can see select the field delimiter it's i know that this is the csv file that's why comma semi uh, comma delimiter here it's mentioned and the option in the uh, double quotes and all this like remain this will be the same so here you can see we have option use first row as a column header so as we know that in our data file the first row is considered as a data header it's not the data it's a header header file right header header of that particular file so we selected here use first row as a column header what it will do it will read the file and it will skip this line as it will consider as a header file header of that particular file and here you can see in this file right now it's it's not mandatory to provide but while reading the file it's mandatory to have a any column which contain a value that content that column should not be null so here we know that the uh, here if you see mark all column as optional it will make all column optional that that column can have null values but any one of column is mandatory to provide as a not null value so here if i will go next it will show as error here you can see please select one or more element as mandatory so here as let as you know that invoice id will all have the values so i will make that in mandatory mandatory it means that that column should have value anyhow that column should contain the value so here now everything is fine you can even change the header name also from here right so i don't want to change now go next and everything is fine just click on done so here if you will see with the help of this operation this read stage file what we have done is that whatever file we have downloaded in that this endpoint that file we are going to read here in log message i will show you what is the value we have read here okay so just save and close let me activate this integration and then we will we will run this integration right so i have already enabled the pill trace so that we can see the log message so now our integration is activated just run this integration so submit and now here it's request submitted and with the instance id this one so once you will click here it will show you the instance so that you can check the log messages so now just wait for the completing right now it's in qa status so it will be in running you can see it's in in progress status after that it will be success so here you can see the our integration this with the instance id 16000402 is in succeeded status it means our integration is completed now we have to see the log message so for checking the log message you can directly click on this i icon so here you can see this is the trash log message of that integration so here you can see what we have done is that we use first download file ftp operation to download the file from server so this is our server and this is the file so we downloaded the file from server you can see the message what we receive we receive the file as a file reference you can see that the file reference this is the file reference of the file and this is you can see this is the directory we this temp directory we provide while reading the data from reading the file with the help of a stage operation and this is the file name so this file name we receive from ftp server you can see download file activity and then after same whatever value we receive from the server right ftp server 
we provided the value in the read stage operation to read the file so once you i will append here you can see the data data we receive so here you can see this is the first data 1001 invoice id 1002 and 1003 here we can see we have three records in also in our file we have three records so we are successfully able to read the file so suppose here let me add this add two more values suppose four five we added four five suppose two two and if we'll save yes and if i will upload this file over server so here let me remove this file and this is the updated file here you can see last updated were 422 right now it's time 422 so let me drop this file here if you right now if i will run the integration again this integration again it will read five date file so let me go to the integration again integration integration yeah this one let me submit again submit click on this instance id i will show you so whatever file we placed over server the first activity will help us to download this file in oic and then with the help of a stage operation we are reading the data of that particular file available in that oic directory so here you can see it will take some time to show you the log messages so just wait or retry again so here just i'm refreshing again so that we can see so here you can see all the messages have become hyperlinked so that we can whenever we will click it will get the data so here you can see in the latest read read a stage response of the read a state payload received from the read a state so we added this endpoint and this endpoint return the value what value return so you can see in the payload so this is the record r and here you can see this is the record set r as we set it over here so this is the first record 101 and you can see that total 1005 five records available in that file we added here right so this is the integration by which you can create uh, you can create integration to get the data file from sftp server and with the help of a stage operation you can read the data whatever data file downloaded into oracle cloud oracle integration cloud right so this is the integration for reading the data from server in next integration we will use read file in segment operation so thank you so much for watching if you like this video and find this video is helpful don't forget to subscribe that it will help us to grow more and all so thank you so much for watching